Lions Valley Park is actually located on the territory and traditional lands of the Huron-Wendat, the Neutral, the Haudenosaunee, and the Mississauga. When Lieutenant John Grave Simcoe created Dundas Street, the valley started being developed by European settlers. Which originally was a military road um, and it was put in place to ensure that the troops could move uh, easily if they wanted to if there was an American invasion. In 1827, a local businessman named George Chalmers, who actually had a general store in Munn's Corners, just down the road, he actually built a dam and then he constructed a grist mill and a sawmill um, on what today is part of Lyons Valley Park. And that was the beginning of what became known as the 16 Hollow Village. In 1840, he sold the buildings to John Proudfoot, who saw the valley through its heyday, and the community was renamed Proudfoot Hollow. There was a hotel in the valley, and there was a distillery, uh, grist and a sawmill. And uh, yeah, there was about 500 people living in the valley, if you can imagine that. Knox 16 Presbyterian Church was built on top of the hill, overlooking the community, and it still stands today. The church's cemetery holds a wealth of stories, like the Triller family, who the Smith Triller Viaduct is named after. John Triller actually owned uh, a mill, and uh, they actually uh, donated the land for the church back in 1844. It was uh, Philip Triller and his sister uh, Catherine, and she also sold land to the church for the cemetery for five pounds at the time. It was another quarter acre. This Saturday, as part of Culture Days, you're invited to learn more about our local heritage, where people have been crossing the river since the Indigenous were guardians of the land. We're having tours uh, at the church, at the historic cemetery, and then down in the valley system too, so that you can learn about the vanished village of Proudfoot's Hollow. We're really pleased that the Mississauga of the New Credit First Nation will be present as well to talk to us about um, the history of treaties and wampum belts. And there are a number of different activities for kids to get involved in, uh, pioneer games and crafts, as well as Conservation Halton is um, providing information about the, the natural history of the area. And honestly, it's going to be a great day. Events get started at 10 a.m. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.